I'm Marla Mogul and today I am here with Jill Walquest. She's the Vice President of Tom's Toys here in Beverly Hills. You see when you walk in here is so cool this is something you don't see anymore this horse right Tom the grand champion it's not affiliated with Tom's toys this is a vintage piece he's been taking a little rest over the last year because of uh, COVID but we're hoping that he's gonna be up and racing again here soon there's a couple reasons I love Tom's toys first of all because it's a spectacular store and the other thing is they feature a lot of collections and a lot of them are very unique to this store and I also love the store because Jill was kind enough to be my expert witness when I got the Guinness World Record. So let's go on a tour of Tom's Toys in Beverly Hills. Coming inside here, it's got a very narrow entrance. As you'll see, it kind of really opens up in the back. So first stop I'm going to take you here is actually our Pokemon cards. Right over here, we've got them behind the counter because they've been really hot lately. Pokemon has been a collector kind of piece um, category for many years. We've actually carried Pokemon ever since the store opened in 1998, but just over the last month or two, there's been a resurgence. Um, there's been a lot of buzz about it. When my son was very little, he's 24 now, he collected Pokemon cards. And to this day, he never lets me forget that I threw them away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now I can see that he was right. <laughs> and our next stop is going to be the Schleich display. Uh, we've been carrying them for many, many years. And they actually came and did this beautiful flagship uh, space for us. So the large tiger, all these displays, they flew a team out. This was actually custom made for our store, which is incredible. They do very fine hand painted uh, little animal figurines. It's made out of uh, plastic resin that's very sturdy. Unicorns, fanciful figures. Uh, they started out with the farm figures and they've kind of branched out from there. They even have a whole line of monster uh... characters right now that are are very, uh, very popular, and our dinosaurs are also very popular. What is the price range on these? So these range from about $3.99 for the smallest one up to $9.99 for the really big one. All right, what's next? Okay, so next, in kind of the walk of collections here, we're going to move to Calico Critters. These, they were originally called uh, Sylvan Families, and they're still called oh. Sylvan Families in Canada and Europe. Um, but uh, in the US, they're called Calico Critters and they've been around for over 30 years now. They are absolutely beautiful, um, fine details. Kangaroos, which are a new addition, which I think oh, are super cute. That is cute. They have the hedgehogs. Oh the my hedgehogs. goodness, that's Yeah, adorable. They've, they've got the little... What is it, pickle weeds? Yeah, the hedgehog, pickle weed family. hedgehog family. So I, this cute. one's so cute. So I'm just thinking in terms of price range, I mean, this really runs the gamble to these more elaborate. We are going to go for our most popular line in the store. Known to collectors all over the place, there's even been a TV show on it, uh, Lego. We're a Lego gold store. Okay. There's only 38 of us in the whole country. And all three of our lo locations are actually gold standard stores. And is that because you sell so many? Yes, is that how you we sell so many, store? we give them full support on the line. Uh, we have a certain amount of square footage. So Lego wow. really focuses on making sure that we have stock and we have support, we have you know, all the different things that make a yeah. Lego section look really, really good. So. Right, so do you get Lego sets that not everybody else can get? We do, we do. Oh, Let me show nice. you a few. So we've got pictures over here, a um, little more on the adult end, yeah. more like the building and then displaying um, okay. aspect. So when you say adult end, mm -hmm. things like that, I mean, what is the age range like the more elaborate things is that older people that do them I, also i've kids? seen i've seen adults come in and collect and i've also seen whole families come in especially during the pandemic we sold a ton of lego for families to do together and it was really sweet they come in and buy a really big set like the haunted house mm -hmm. or usually we have uh, big city expert sets like the corner diner or something like that yeah. big 
chunks of Lego city streets and they build them all together. Oh, that sounds mm -hmm. so fun. Yeah, great, great family yes. activity. So the Lego's idea line is uh -huh. Lego collectors submitting their ideas of what they would like to see. They choose some winners every year and those winners turn into actual Lego sets that are for sale. So this one's Beautiful. a pop-up book. The more elaborate ones, how expensive do they get? Yeah, they get pretty expensive. So for instance, the Mickey and Minnie Mouse set is actually $239.99. So are these some of your most expensive toys in the store? Yes, okay. absolutely. $600 is about the top range, which yeah. for toys is pretty pretty expensive that's it's, a lot of money mm -hmm. yeah unless yeah. they're vintage or a real exactly. collector item yeah. so mm -hmm. that's very yeah. impressive we've yeah. got a mm -hmm. huge puzzle collection yeah we, we, talk we about carry these. more square footage of puzzles than i think just about anyone else around the thousand piece is definitely our most popular size my favorite puzzle brand right now it's kind of an up-and-coming brand but we've done really well with it is plum and tony uh, they just have beautiful images, just gorgeous photography. So this is our game aisle. We pretty much carry every classic and new game that you can you can think of. We've got things like, you know, really old ones like this game is bonkers. I don't know oh if you ever played that. No, or, I don't remember that. Or one. we have Retro Candyland oh, right here. That was one of my mm -hmm. favorites. Yeah, and this is the original. So they, uh, the company is called Winning Moves, uh -huh. and they license old games from Hasbro and reproduce them in their original form. So we've got like the 1980s edition Monopoly right there. Oh, Sheets there and Ladders right here. Okay, because yeah. my two favorites, mm -hmm. Candyland mm -hmm. and Sheets and Ladders. Yep, I used and, to play this yeah. all the time. And your displays are so clean thank you and yeah. colorful and just everything mm -hmm. what i like too is it's well organized mm -hmm. oh, this, this is, is especially young uh popular with the younger crowd we have um parents come in here with their kids you know they take the little catalog and they start figuring out which trucks they have and which they don't <laughs> i don't know where they store them all but yeah they're very they large. Are, they're, they're big. Okay. Hot Wheels are still big, and it's a whole collector segment. Adult collectors here who are sorting through the Hot Wheels toys, looking for yeah. defect Hot Wheels. And, oh my you know, if one wheel's slightly wrong or something yeah. got switched, they get really excited. It's, oh. it's awesome, right? Okay, well, dolls. <laughs> dolls. A lot of people collect Absolutely. dolls. Lisa so uh -huh. Parole is a fantastic yes. brand. Yeah, Barbie's been a collector category for a long time, yes. and it is another category that just flies off the shelf. Are those Care Bears? They are. Okay. They are. Uh, they actually, I, I, we these are, one. they we just brought them one. back this year. This is oh, the newest iteration. Okay. We haven't had them for years. All right, can we go back up here, because I'm a little biased, to mm -hmm. wind-up toys. Absolutely. Okay. Every time mm -hmm. I've come in here, I have purchased at least one wind-up toy, <laughs> so that's why another reason mm -hmm. I like to visit. I think you found these last time you were oh, in. Oh, I have them all. I have the whole set. <laughs> yeah, but uh -huh. we, we always try to carry at least a few. Your little walking robots. Oftentimes we'll have like little ducks and chicks, you uh -huh. know, in the spring. Like, what is your least expensive toy? Um, least expensive toy, I would probably say is a lot of the stuff in the impulse bin. Okay. What is mm -hmm. that? So they um, bounce off the uh, palm of your hand. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So you go. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that is so yes, fun. And those are 99 cents. They're 99 mm -hmm. cents. And your most expensive toy is probably the Lego sets. The Legos. Yeah, so now, those, those are going to be good. What about these back here? These are real big too, right? Yes. What are these? Yeah, so these are mini kick scooters. So these range anywhere from uh, $99 to about $139. Okay. Do you have a favorite toy? Absolutely. So, <laughs> Cal Computers is definitely one yeah, of my favorites. Board games are my thing. Okay. I, I play them no, with my family did. all the oh. time. This is actually one of my favorites. It's been a pretty strong seller. And I don't think we have one right now, but you can see it in the box. So, oh. it's a little mint green balance pipe, but it's a Vespa. What is your favorite toy in the store? I love uh, plush toys. My favorite toy would probably be the Barbies. I just uh, loved them when I was little, so I remember, you know, it's like it has a hold a special place in my heart. Well, yeah. yeah. oh, Jill, this has been yeah, this has wonderful. Been so much fun. And thank you for everything cool. that you do for well, us. Thank you. So, and if people want to buy toys mm -hmm. from you, um, how would they do that? You don't have an online store? We do not have an online store at the moment. The best way to get a hold of us is to go ahead and call our number. Um, our number is 310-247-9822. We also ship through uh, UPS uh, anywhere in the 48 states, and we can quote you on that based on the, the UPS rates. Well, I highly recommend that you do order some things here like I do because they, again, have so many unique things and it's just a beautiful store that I like to support. 
So thank you all thank for allowing you. us to come thank in you. here today. Thank you. And remember, keep smiling.